In reality, there is no average when it comes to abortions. Each person has their own reasons, circumstances, life. This video is based in facts and statistics to give a generalized look at who, when, and why people have abortions. The majority of women receiving abortions are not teenagers. She is most likely a mother, with almost 60% of those seeking an abortion already having given birth. And she most likely belongs to an organized religion. Common reasons cited for abortions include financial concerns and the pregnancy's interference with work, school, and other responsibilities, according to 2005 research. Data from 2013 shows that a majority of abortions happen in the first eight weeks of the pregnancy. At that time, the embryo is approximately as large as a pencil eraser. And although very small, it has a beating heart by six weeks. Research from the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists reported in 2010 that before 24 weeks, a fetus cannot feel pain. Vacuum aspiration is the most common method of in-clinic abortions. The procedure is performed by opening the cervix wide enough to be able to use suction to remove the pregnancy. The suction part lasts about one minute and does not involve any incisions or cuts. It is not risk-free, and there can be bleeding and cramping afterward, but complications are rare. In a 2014 study conducted by the University of California, San Francisco, minor complications arose in less than 2% of the abortions, and major complications happen very rarely. There are more complications and a higher risk of death bringing a baby to term and giving birth, according to 2012 research. After an abortion, it is normal to feel a range of emotions, but according to a study of women who've had an abortion, the vast majority deemed it the right decision. And a study published in 2016 found that the risk of mental health problems is no greater for women who've had an abortion than for women who have given birth after attempting to obtain an abortion. Knowing these facts will hopefully help change the way we talk about abortions in the media, with our friends and family, and with those who have a different perspective.